Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at valuation using accounting estimate. What is this? Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at valuation using accounting estimate. Now what is valuation? Valuation is an important concept in accounting, basically saying what dollar amount you need to assign to an amount. Now you might be saying that's easy. How much we pay for something? Well, that's not always the case. In accounting, we use a lot of estimates. What is an estimate? It's basically an educated guess based on the available information, based on our best knowledge. So in this session, we would learn about how as accountant, we use, we evaluate assets, liabilities, and equities using estimate. So valuation using accounting estimate is critical in the financial reporting process. It involves assessing basically giving a value to the company's asset, liabilities, and equity. Simply put, assigning a dollar amount based on judgment and estimate about future events. We make assumptions, we make judgment, we make estimate, and based on these estimates, we would assign a dollar amount to those assets, liabilities, and equities. And those estimates are necessary because many financial statement items, many items cannot be measured precisely. Obviously, I'm going to show you examples and the steps that we undertake in order to arrive to, the, to that estimate. So we must rely on estimate rather on precise figures. Let's go ahead and get started first by looking at the steps in the accounting estimates. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Now, not all accounts need estimates. So the first thing we need to determine is, do we need to have an estimate? Recognize when an item cannot be precisely valued, like what? Like estimating the life of the equipment for depreciation, expected credit losses, or warranty expense. Then we have to choose a method. Select the most suitable method for those account. This might include historical cost. Based on their historical cost, we can value them. And this is the easiest one because we keep it at historical cost. Or we could use the present value. We can take a look at this asset, determine the present, the, the future cash flow of that asset, then discount all those future cash flows to the present value. Or we can somehow find a market value and based on that, we will assign the value depending if we are using market value depending on the scenario that we are looking at. Then we have to gather data, relevant data to help with the valuation method that we used, especially if it's a present value or market value computation, like historical performance, market trend, economic forecast, anything that's gonna give us more information about the asset or the liability that we are valuing. Obviously, we're gonna make certain assumptions and on future, based on future events, again, those are assumptions like future cash flows, discount rate, and market condition. And obviously, at the end, we will compute the estimate, we review the estimate, and we have to report and disclose how we came up with this estimate in the notes of the financial statements. Now, bear in mind, in the real world, the auditor would always review our estimate. So any estimate that we make, the auditor will review it, determine its reasonableness, whether it's reasonable or not. Let's take a look at some examples to kind of get a better feeling on this. Although I mentioned few, but let's list them. The first is depreciation and amortization. When we have property, plant, and equipment, we depreciate them using a life that we estimate, using a residual value that we estimate, and using a method. The method for depreciation is an estimate. Whether we use the straight line, the sums of years digit, or the double declining balance, all these are form of estimates. So when we compute depreciation, so think about it. Depreciation is an estimate and obviously accumulated depreciation is an estimate. As a result, the book value of the asset is an estimate as well. And here we are dealing with what could be depreciation. It could be amortization, which is the equivalent of depreciation, but for intangible assets. When we compute allowance for doubtful account, well, what is that? It's estimating the amount of receivable 
that we will not collect. How do we do so? We would look at the receivable times some percentage. That's one way to do it. Estimated incollectible. We estimate how much we are not going to collect. And based on that, we will determine bad debt expense. We will determine the allowance account. We will determine the net receivable. It's affecting many accounts. When we look at inventory, estimating, estimating the lower cost or net realizable value which involve making assumption about the future selling price and cost of the asset. Well, when we value inventory, we don't value it at cost. We value it at lower of cost or net realizable value, which involve what? Involve estimating what's the future selling price because if the inventory lost utility, we have to write it down. It's a form of an estimate. We think it lost utility. We estimate how much it lost. And based on that, we report it. How about contingent liabilities? If we are being sued and there's a contingent liability, we estimate the likelihood and the potential cost, such as lawsuit, tax dispute, environmental cleanup, or any sort of a contingent liability. We looked at the estimated loss of the probability times a percentage, and depending if that loss is probable and we can estimate the dollar amount, we book a loss based on an estimate. Asset impairment, assessing whether the carrying value may not be recoverable and therefore reducing the value of the asset. We'll take the carrying amount minus the recoverable amount. Th that's a form of an estimate. That's a form of an estimate. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from Farhat Lectures, basically to kind of get a feeling how to answer questions when it comes to accounting estimate. Which of the following statement is true? Be careful, if it says true, it means we have three incorrect and only one true. So it's easy to identify the incorrect ones. A. The salvage value of an asset is an estimated figure, that's true, that does not affect depreciation calculation. Absolutely not. It is an estimate figure and it does affect depreciation. So it does affect depreciation because based on the residual value, you will come up with the depreciation. So you would look at cost minus residual value minus residual value divided by the life of the asset. So if this is an estimate. So if this changes, the depreciation amount will change as well. So A is out. So that's one of the incorrect. The allowance for doubtful accounts represent the exact amount of receivable a company expect to collect. Not at all. The allowance for doubtful account is an estimate, not exact amount. It's an estimate. Therefore, B is out. So now we're down to 50-50. A contingent liability is recorded in the financial statement only when the outcome of the event is certain and the amount can be re reliably estimated. Is that when we book a contingent liability? And the answer is no. When it's probable, nothing is certain. If it's certain, it will not be an estimate. That's, that's the, the, the definition of an estimate. It's something is not certain. So notice the key word to look at here is exact. Exact is precise. No, it cannot be exact. And certain is wrong. By process of elimination, now we know that D is the correct answer, but let's kind of just to make sure to confirm our answer, inventory write down reflect the decrease in market value, that's true, of inventory below its carrying value on the balance sheet. That's 100% correct statement about inventory write down. It reflect the loss of utility because the cost of that inventory is no longer valid. It's now it's it's below its cost. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs. That's going to help you with this topic, accounting estimate. Accounting estimate is covered in your financial accounting courses. Also, you need to know this topic when it comes to auditing because the auditor review your estimates. So you want to be comfortable with accounting estimate. Now, in accounting, when, when we talk to people in the real world, people think accounting is a precise, is a precise, um, is a precise science. It's anything but. And accounting estimate is a clear example of that. Invest in yourself, invest in your career. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.